Uh, what this means is every end, every every residency cohort. So at the end of every residency cohort, we do a uh, we do a residency exhibition, which essentially it's a celebration of uh, all of your hard work over the last 12 months, and also a way to showcase uh, one of your works that you have created uh, in or kind of on the outskirts of of the residency. Um, so the the plan for the next I would say three to four weeks basically three weeks um, is to essentially as you can see from the calendar uh, do obviously there's not going to be a lot any classes anymore it's mainly going to be AMAs uh, and obviously the lounges and and the the open mics um, but from here until uh, the end of the month we'll be focusing on uh, the creation phase of the residency. So essentially uh, working towards uh, the auction and the exhibition, which is planned to happen on August 2nd. So on Wednesday, August 2nd, we have, a, uh, we have our residency exhibition, which will start at 6 p.m. Uh, BST, which is 5 p.m. UTC and uh, will last 24 hours. Usually how the, the auction and the exhibition works is that we essentially uh, have like a celebration event on the first day, so when we open the exhibition, so on the 2nd of August, and we start by having a Twitter spaces with, with all of you to discuss, well, the, the last 12 weeks, the work that, you've pr that you're presenting and so on. And then we move into uh, Arium spaces where, um, the residents, so you guys, a group of you guys will be uh, creating a uh, custom made um, online gallery where all of your work will be exhibited. So usually what happens is that we go into our spaces, we do a curatorial tour of all the work. Um, you can speak about the work or I can speak about the work. It, it depends on how you are most comfortable with. And then we have a just celebration, we play music. And we have people kind of like roaming around and uh, touring through uh, through the area and spaces. Um, I we will send a couple of examples of the past area and spaces, so you have a uh, idea of what they looked like. Let me just send a few now. These are always uh, made by uh, the residents themselves with the help of uh, usually Michael, who is an alumni, who I think you've heard from before because he also did a class with you guys. And uh, he has quite a bit of experience in, oh yeah, perfect, Inga, thank you. He has quite a bit of experience in uh, building in area spaces. And so uh, he usually uh, helps out the working group that is, uh, that is working on the area spaces online gallery. In the last uh, update that we did last week, we already have a small like working group, but if you are interested in uh, helping out and uh, building uh, the space, please, uh, yeah, please just kind of like volunteer. And then uh, we also have a, a Fred in the sixth cohort uh, um, chat where you can hop on. I think Yinga is actually organizing a call with uh, the working group uh, this week. So it's still all very much open and it's still in not even the final, like not even the initial stages. So if you are interested in working with uh, a few others of the residents to build the online gallery, please, uh, yeah, please, please, you know, volunteer and uh, send a message to us. Hi there, Mikol. Sorry, it's Sarah here from um, Hi. Melbourne. Yeah, yeah. Hi there. Sorry, we were a couple of minutes late. Um, just a really quick question. Um, so um, we have built our own Arium spaces um, about a year ago, um, and we used one of the templates, which we then customised. Um, and so we listened to Michael's um, like tutorial on Arium a couple of weeks ago. Um, and we were quite surprised that he's building from scratch. Um, is, is he building from scratch or is he going to do what we did, customize one of the existing templates, do you know? No, we build it from scratch. It's not him that builds it, actually. It's like a group of residents. Uh, so it's going to be like a few, like, for example, Dave, uh, who else is on? Estelle, Ivan, Carolina, or all, uh, Pavel, are all, uh, all volunteered. But we always build it from scratch, yeah. Okay, good luck. <laughs>
Oh, well, we've done it for like the past five cohorts. So it's always been uh, quite, yeah. Why? How come? Um, well, no, no, I'm not saying I, I haven't seen what you've done. So um, I'm going to look, uh, look at, take a look. I, I know it took Jerry and I an entire week um, when we built ours, and that was customizing a template. Um, and um, we did that. We were actually curated by the Whale Group into Maker's Place um, last mm -hmm. May, and they also used a template, which they then customized um and no i mean i just i know it took jerry and i a, a week to create it but um uh look, i'm really really excited because i think it's a fantastic way to show our work and i think it's really great to have you know all of us in there you know chatting and you know because we can talk about the art that's in front of everyone that's in the space mm. um, yeah. whilst they're physically there so I, I think it's a brilliant initiative yeah awesome yeah, take a look at the the um, uh, spaces that uh, Yinga just posted in the chat, so you can you can have an idea of what they look like in the past cohorts. They're all here. Maybe I'll just tag you so you can see them. Yeah. So um, just going back to the exhibition, uh, basically the the dynamics of, of how it usually works is it's a 24 hour uh, exhibition. So we open on uh, 5 p.m. UTC and then it closes on uh, 24 hours later. Um, it's usually one work per artist. Uh, this can be an edition or it can be a long form if uh, gen art is in your practice. Um, the only uh, requirement and the only kind of, yeah, the only requirement is that it's minted on Tezos. Uh, usually we uh, work via object. So basically um, we have a collection on object, which is like dedicated to each of the cohorts. And then, um, and then, yeah, we, we kind of like mint on there. Of course, if you're doing a long form, then it can, it will be on, on FX Ash, and that's also uh, absolutely fine. And we've done it in the past. We will be sending out uh, instructions on uh, how to mint and all of that uh, probably next week uh, as we as we move closer towards uh, the date of the uh, submission. And talking about the date for the submission of the work, uh, the deadline is on the 25th of uh, 25th of July. Uh, this is because on the 27th, we actually have our uh, residency, second, uh, second year anniversary of the residency uh, program. And so we're doing a full, as, as you know, we're doing a full celebration uh, in, on Twitter spaces and in Arium spaces. And so we, we would like to showcase all of the six uh, galleries that we have from the, from the cohorts. And so obviously it would be nice to have all of the work ready so we can showcase uh, all of your work as well as almost like a preview to the actual um, auction and exhibition that will happen uh, the week after. Uh, in terms of what you can do with the minting, so as I mentioned, uh, it, it's up to you. It doesn't have to be an auction, so it doesn't have to be a 24-hour auction. It can be a fixed price, it can be an addition sale, uh, it can be a long form, so that's also uh, totally up to you. Obviously, happy to... Uh, you know, like a consult if you have like any questions or you want to, uh, you want to, you know, you want to like ask me if there's anything specific, uh, absolutely happy to do that. But it's totally, it's totally up to you. Um, what has happened in, in the past, so usually uh, with these auctions and, and exhibitions, uh, artists can decide to uh, donate part of the proceeds or all of the proceeds to the residency uh, wallet which will then uh, be used to go and fund uh, further, uh, further residencies and uh, the future of the residency as well. So that's, again, uh, up to you. We will be sending an email, unless uh, Yinga has sent it already as part of the email that we sent as a, as a wrap-up for last week. But basically, all of these instructions will be sent to you uh, via email as well. So just to... Um, Oh yeah. Also, what what we what we do, and the reason why we also require the work to be submitted uh, about a week before is because we we always create a catalog that we send to our collectors and um, just to our network of of kind of like VCA uh, people, and uh, and this is a very good way for them to be aware of the work and maybe they can you know help 
they might want to reserve some editions they want might want to uh yeah just kind of like work that way and so it's it's a good it's a good uh, opportunity for them to do so um in terms of like there's not a requirement to participate in the auction so if you don't feel like your work is ready or you don't have anything that you would like to show uh, obviously you don't have to do it um it is recommended of course we usually have around like I would say 98% of the residents uh, participate in the final auction and exhibition. But again, as I mentioned, it is not a requirement. Uh, and so it's also up to you. Uh, yeah, I think like I also wanted to I think this is kind of it in terms of like the information from the from the from the auction. So um, I wanted to open it up to any questions or anything. Hi, Miko. Uh, thank you so much for all the explanation. Um, I I'm wondering, what's the uh, like price of the artwork? Um, I'm just happy to share something, Psycho, um, whilst Inga's pinging um, Mikol, if you like. Um, we've had um, three different uh, mentorships with different people, um, and uh, one of them was the artist Ivona Tao, uh, right at the beginning, and then two others were collectors. Um, and we asked this question um, of the, one of the collectors in the very last mentorship. And um, look, it's a very, um, you know, I think it's a very artist specific answer. Um, she, I think we're going to release maybe, maybe a one of one and maybe a limited edition, but I know for the area, it'll just be one piece. Um, we've been on object now for nearly a year and we've made sales at different prices um, so we know what our floor price of a one of one is and um, she, this particular collector was saying that she didn't think collectors really would respond to something that was bigger than a 20 edition collection um, and therefore you know there's a there's some maths you can do you can take your floor price whether it's a thousand tests for one of one or a hundred whatever it is and you can divide it by, you know, 10 editions or 20 editions or 100 editions. There's, it didn't really seem as if there was like a right and wrong. It's very much up to us, I, I think. If I'm right, Yenga and Mikol? Yeah, sorry, I don't know why my audio wasn't working. Um, can you hear me now? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Uh, yes, yeah, so it's totally up to you again, um, as, as you were saying, uh, obviously I'm usually if there's any specific, because it's also like artist specific, so I can't really like say a, a specific range of prices because every artist has a different price range. Um, so if you do want to talk more about it, just DM me and we can definitely discuss it uh, one on one. Okay, thank you so much. Hi, it's uh, Alan here, Auto Collectors. Um, I'm, I'm thinking of doing a, a long-form FX hash piece. How does that work within the, in the spaces in terms of people being able to when when they go through the buy process? Are they just being, merely being clicked through to FX hash, or and, and how yeah, do you kind of exactly. cycle through? Yeah, I haven't yes. really seen how it works. So, Arium Spaces, uh, as soon as you click on the link, it'll as soon as you click on the piece, it will show the link, and then they get redirected to. Uh, where the where the work is minted. Oh, cool. Okay, easy. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. So it's if it's an object, it will be object. It's on FX hash, it will be FX hash. So it works actually really well in that in that front. And, and so if they want to you know, on FX hash, you, know, you can cycle through the variations just to see you know, the example. Yeah. So you, you just do that basically on the FX hash side as normal then. Yes. Exactly. Perfect. 
Perfect. Yep. Great. Thank you. Um, just a real quick question, Nicole. Um, so we're filmmakers first and foremost, although we have got a photography collection on object. Um, I think the piece we're going to put forward um, will either be a photogrammetry model, which we were going to mint on um, object, uh, or it was going to be a two minute piece, which includes um, our musicians music. Um, the work is going to be created in Blender. Um, like I said, we're already on object. So, um, is there a file, a maximum file size that will work in Arium? Do you know? Or yeah, uh, usually it's around a hundred uh, megabytes. Um, okay. So, and and keeping in mind that big works do slow down the space. Uh, yeah. But we usually work around it. But yeah, if we can stick to the a hundred megabytes, that would be great. Okay, that is really helpful. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, of course. Is it okay with any size uh, if the file is uh, under 100 megabytes? Uh, what do you mean by any size? Uh, like pixels? Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's absolutely okay. Fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've also showed um, like sculptures as well in Arium spaces. Like if you check out some of the some of the examples, uh, there's like also AR sculptures and, and and other like really interesting ways to to showcase the work. So it doesn't necessarily have to be like a kind of a fixed, let's say like square or vertical or whatever a form of there. There's also other ways to, to showcase the work. So we've been really creative with that as well. Um, so, yeah. Would it be possible to, like, again, think of the FX hash piece to have a, like a, a video that I produce, of, you know, showing you know the variation, some sort of, you know, uh, and and then that's that's what people see in the space, and then they yeah. click through to the project. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So cool. we've had like live code uh, showcase scenario before, um, mm -hmm. so it does work. Uh, so for example, if you go into the fifth cohort one, I'm just loading it up right now. That's why I load it from the, all the way over here. <laughs> it doesn't load? Oh, no, it just takes a while to load. Uh, oh, yeah. It must be, yeah. Uh, there is, I believe it was. Let me see. I don't remember if it was Tom's, uh, yeah, so Tom Lorman's piece at the very end, I think was an FX hash collection. Let me go and check it out. I should have a wander around the space and uh, check it out myself in a bit more detail. Yeah, I'm just uh, remembering which one was an FX hash collection. But anyways, we can definitely uh, showcase like a video that has like the different outputs basically. So that it, uh, cool. it essentially showcases like a few different outputs. Basically, the way that it works is that if you move closer to the artwork, it will move. So you need to like move quite close for the artwork to almost like come alive, if that makes sense. Right. And this is something yep, that, that we sense. decide yeah. um, as well, because if all the artworks are playing at the same time, well, first of all, it's very chaotic, especially if they have music. And then it does slow down a little bit uh, the, yeah, the loading of the space uh, as well. And if I, are there any sort of uh, sort of copyright issues in terms of like music? Like if I put a soundtrack on top of a promotional video? No, 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 no. Or Aram Spaces, no. Yeah. Good, good, good. No, no, no. You're not. Uh, just to be clear, though, um, we can't mint something with music that hasn't got copyright, correct? Uh, in terms of minting, yes, I believe so. Yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah. Um, and just to um, just to clarify what Mikol was saying, Alan. Um, so the Arium spaces we built, um, the first iteration was all pieces with music. And it was really awesome um, because, as Mikkel says, you can only play the music from the piece you're looking at when you get close to it, so it doesn't become this chaotic orchestra. Yeah. 
so you're not competing uh, with uh, everybody else. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that sounds For exciting. example, if you if you click on any of the of the work, it'll give you like the description, and then you'll see like view an object or view on whatever um, platform. I don't know if you're you're in there and checking it out. No, it's still loading. <laughs> oh, okay. It takes a while to get to Australia, I think. <laughs> uh, Sungrazer, yeah, I just sent you a friend request, so you should be able to uh, DM me. Thanks so much. I don't think we're going to have questions, but um, like I said, it may be that we just put forward the sculptural piece. Um, yeah, that's really kind of you. Thanks, Michal. So of course, no worries. And if anybody else as well, uh, feel free to just uh, friend request me so that uh, you can so can so that we can DM. I just have a friend like DMs closed for not friends because there's a lot of spam on Discord. I had another question about um, sort of publicity, I guess, leading up to the auction. Um, I guess VCA will be doing sort of tweets and other sorts of publicity. You mentioned the catalogue. And uh, is it okay if we also do, you know, promote our own work as well off the of back course. of that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. I mean, usually uh, we definitely recommend it uh, as much as you want. So uh, actually what we do is also, for example, like recommend to post like any whips or anything that you're working on. and. Uh, yeah, and then you can like chat, uh, tag the VCA residency and VCA, and then uh, we can, yeah, we can obviously like retweet and reshare. So definitely, yes. Cool. Because I've already been doing some, some whips along the way for the last couple of weeks. Uh, so now I can start, I can actually mention that it is going to be part of the auction. That's okay to mention that, is it now? Or should I be waiting until a, an official announcement? Uh, no, go for it. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody knows that we do an art, like it's like we do it every time. So it's like everybody knows that the work is like the artists are going to be part of like the, the exhibition uh, and, and auction. And we'll be, yeah, we'll be announcing it probably. And we're announcing the residency, the anniversary this week. So today, actually. And so then next week, uh, we'll announce the, the auction. It's short time frame. So people pay attention to things very on a short term. So we try to do things so that they remember that it's happening. <laughs> Good idea. How many people turn up for these events what, in the past? What, what's, what's the turnout uh, like? Quite a few, actually. Usually we've had around like 200, 300 people in aerospaces. Yeah, so it's right. been quite a lot. Um, yeah, it, it depends. Uh, but overall, like we usually get, we usually have the analytics all the time after an like around yeah from 150 to 250 300 people that's incredible yeah um, it's quite a uh, lot yeah really incredible um and um i know it starts um as you said on the second it's actually three o'clock in the morning for all of us over here uh, well in, in oz anyway um so we 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 were okay in the first um couple of uh, maybe six weeks or so of, of getting into the spaces. Um, do you prefer that we're all of us there right at the beginning or that we kind of stagger it over the 24 hours? Or does it not really matter to you? So the event will be at the beginning. So we'll be doing like the, the opening when we start at 6 p.m. With the, with the Twitter spaces and then the Twitter spaces will actually be at uh, 5 p.m. Uh, BST. And then uh, there'll be the kind of like the auction, uh, sorry, the tour in air and spaces. And then, uh, yeah, and then it kind of opens up and then everybody can do whatever they want, basically. But uh, we are, and then the 24 hours are, are open, essentially, so that the people can, you know, go into the air and spaces and check it out. Uh, so that's when, like, most of the action happens is the, the day of when it opens. From, like, 5 p.m. to, I would say, usually is around, like, actually... Um, like 8 or 9 p.m. Because we also so have, the oh. we also have like a, a DJ that like does a, like, yeah, plays in Aram spaces and so like people hang out there uh, to listen to the music. 
could we get a t uh, in terms of like being there to be able to talk about your own work? Could it be? Could we get a, a sort of a rough timetable so we know when to wake up at three a.m. Because <laughs> it'd be good to good to attend if we can. But uh... yeah, uh, we can do that. Uh, it'll probably be usually it's like six p.m. Uh, BST that we move into Aram spaces. So mm. let me see what time is that? Six p.m. BST to in time uh, it's 3 a.m um yeah it's kind of not really ideal uh, unfortunately it's really hard to find a time that is not uh... yeah because this is usually like a good time to get good attendance also from the u.s because it's like their lunch break um and then later it's a bit harder and then later it's hard it's late for europe as well so people you know so we try to like stagger it in, in this way so usually it's going to be around like when when we move to arm spaces it's actually like 3 a.m for you guys like that's when we start the tour <laughs> yep yeah. fair enough we just have lots of coffee i think yeah that was the i'm just throwing up these emojis alan because that's going to be jerry and i dancing like banshees <laughs> and i can see you dancing <laughs> with us in fucking area oh, spaces, oh, okay? oh, yeah. <laughs> Uh, I have a question about the minting. Um, are you gonna uh, mint our works, or are we gonna mint by ourselves? Then uh, send the works to you. Yeah, so you will always mint. We don't mint for you, um, and the minting instructions will be sent to you um, mm -hmm. next week. So you'll have all of the information on how to mint. But it's basically like minting, minting an object, and then we uh, transfer it into the the collection, basically, and it will show up on our uh, VCA, as you just, as I think, yeah, uh, psych, yeah, you just posted, it will be showing up there. Okay, so uh, we will be invited to your collection. Exactly, yes. Okay, thank, thank you. Yeah. First. And how does that work for FX hash stuff pieces then? Is it just like a collab? So for FX hash, it obviously won't be an, uh, like it, it, it'll show up on object, but it won't be, uh, you know, invited into the collection. So it'll just show up on the on our gallery page um, yep. on, on VCA. Yep. And in terms of like, I guess I'll wait to the minting instructions, but I assume there'll be a, if we're splitting the, the income from that, there'll be a, a collab. Um, when yeah, we so it, we, on FXS, you can, you can add uh, the residency wallet or on object yeah. as well as a, as a collaborator or uh, so, so that, that, then it's done automatically. Yep, perfect. Yep, easy. Um, just one really quick um, cue following up what Alan was saying and Seiko. So um, we've done um, projects before on object where we've been part of collectives like Women of Vision and Quake Aid and so on. Um, and um, for those, we've always wanted the percentage we give back to the organization to carry through to secondary. And just confirming that we, you know, if we do get any secondaries, well, if we get any primaries, um, and then secondaries, that that will, we want that to go back to VCA. That's automatic, isn't it? Uh, you have to set it. So if you want that to happen, it has to be set into the secondary royalties as well, which we can we can definitely do, of course. Um, but yeah, it needs it's like an an additional step basically, and we with the instructions we'll send that as well. So it's not automatic. Uh, it it has to be set into the contract. Thanks very much. Of course. And then regarding the anniversary, so we've just sent through, uh, as you as you saw, a few invites, um, and for like the panels and and conversations and stuff. So uh, there is already a calendar invite with all of the different um, talks that we'll be doing and the program. Uh, so we'll be announcing the the anniversary today, um, just saying that we're doing this, and then throughout the the week we'll also be uh, doing. Uh, yeah, the actual um, going into like what each what each talk will be and who will be doing what. 
Um, but yeah, if you have any questions about that as well, just let me know now or later or let Yinga know uh, too. Yeah, that's great, Mikkel. Thank you. Um, I think you um, uh, emailed all of us, or Yinga did last week, and um, I think you suggested for our region that the anniversary will actually be on the 28th of July, our time, from 2 until 8 yeah. in the morning, Yeah. and um, that there will be a spaces from Asia Pack, um, Alan and Seiko at 7 a.m., and um, yeah, I'm really happy to like I think I'd message you guys really happy to be in that I think Seiko said the same I think it was really fun to be in that it's a great opportunity to talk about what we've been doing and you know talk about the auction the following week right yeah, absolutely exactly and if you also have um, I've also invited uh, Clara from NFT Asia um, to participate as well but you know if you also have it doesn't have to be necessarily just about the auction uh, or sorry, or the residency. So it's also an opportunity to also invite other fellow kind of uh, artists that you know that are working within in the region, or you would like to, because it's an open mic type of format. So it's quite, yeah, like an open conversation, let's say. Yeah. So I mean, we heard about the VCA actually through one of the whale artists, um, Ava. Um, because we're in the same whale group as, as she is. Um, even though we're an object, we hadn't heard about it through that route. Um, so, no, we're definitely going to be inviting some of our Aussie and Kiwi and Southeast Asian buddies as in artists. Yeah. Any other uh, questions? Sorry, uh, I want to make it clear uh, that what we have to send you um, is the uh, file, uh, the artwork, description, and title. That's everything for uh, auction. Yeah, so uh, just as the email uh, said, so it's going to be, yeah, we, it would be great to have your yeah, artwork title, artwork description. Um, and then the price uh, that you want to price it at, and then whether it's going to be a donation or not. Yinga, did you send the email to everyone here in this group as well? Yeah, so it's all in the in the email uh, that Yinga sent out. Oh, um, sorry, maybe I missed, but uh, uh, I didn't maybe really um, read the details about the auction yet. Um, yeah, I didn't. I didn't answered email, yes. Uh, you didn't receive the emails. Oh, I answered yes to an auction, but uh, um, yeah. So in that email, there's some instructions about the the auction uh, specifically. So okay, it's called so uh, auction information and residency update. Okay, I'm going to check it again. Uh, did we not did we not say what needs to be included? Ah, uh, no, no, okay. Um, yeah, so uh, before, yeah, we're, we're uh, collecting all of the yeses or nos, and then we'll go back to all the yeses and say, okay, this is the information that, that we need, sorry. Uh, so it's uh, artwork title, artwork description, um, price that you want to price it at, and then uh, whether you'll be donating and how much you'll be donating. We'll, we'll send over a follow-up email today of all of this. I thought I was going blind because I definitely yeah, had to do that. We usually send it, but I think we just wanted to know who was participating or not. Uh, and then from there, uh, we would just, yeah, we would just email them directly. And the submission deadline of the 25th, that's just that information. It's not actually then having it all minted and set up on the platform, is it? Uh, well, I mean... It's it's the, the the deadline that we have to have the work in because we have to upload it in area of spaces. Uh, it doesn't oh, have yeah. to be minted because we need we can we can also upload the work without being minted. But to be honest, if it's minted, it's easier because then it loads up automatically in area of spaces. Um, so ideally, yes, it would be minted by then. 
Great. So we just meant it and put with the date of the auction, you know, as the, the release date on it, and then uh, you've got everything exactly. you need. Um, so just a, I guess a quick question, it's not really a question, I guess it's a, uh, a thought, an idea. Um, one of the things that we found quite helpful is that um, although of course we price our work in TES, um, you know, the collector can now see when they go to our work in object, the price in US dollars, because they can buy using credit card. Mm -hmm. And if they click on the Ethereum logo, they can see the price in ETH. Um, and so um, we've probably got more ETH collectors. Oh, no, maybe, maybe similar. Look, I, I sometimes when I'm tweeting, um, just a tip, you probably know this, Alan and Seiko, but I tend to put the price in, you know, TES, ETH and USD. Um, just to try and bring people over from maybe ETH or credit cards. Yeah. Yeah, good That's idea. Right. But any other questions or thoughts or anything at all? What happens if stuff doesn't sell <laughs> at the end of the auction? Of the auction? Um, if it doesn't sell, we either give it, like, send it back to you guys or we keep it uh, in the collection. And sometimes it's actually sold afterwards as well. Um, yeah. But it's, it's again, uh, yeah, up to you. We don't, we don't necessarily like, feel the need to, to, to keep it. So if you, if you want to uh, have it back, if you want to burn it, if you want to do whatever you want, it's, it's totally up to you. Uh, we usually, I would say, have a, if I have to say, like a certain percentage of what works uh, sell is around 80% of the work usually sells. Um, we've had auctions where 100% of the work is sold. Uh, obviously, this market right now is definitely a particularly uh, bearish market than other residency auctions that we've had. Uh, not to be like negative or anything, but just to be realistic. Um, but yeah, usually that's been the, let's say, the, um, the percentages, like the, the kind of the ratio. Yeah, a lot of the FX hash projects that take much, much longer than mint now. So it probably, you know, if it's following suit, then we might just be leaving the, the project the open for a while to let it yeah, mint out. Yeah, or uh, just uh, doing lower, smaller additions sizes, you know? Like if maybe in the past you did 125 pieces, now you do 50 or 40 or 20, you know? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, make it easy to mint out. <laughs> if, that's, if that's the goal, yes. Uh, I think, you know, it, 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 it depends. It depends on also what, what, what you're after, right? Of course, sure. I think a collection that is, um, is closed and that is minted out uh, from the outside looks better than one that it isn't, right? Like, that's, that's just, you know, but, but then again, it also depends uh, on, on what you're, you're going for and also what, you know, you want the algorithm to show because sometimes your algorithm, you know, is, is so good that you want to have like 200 pieces uh, and each of them is unique. So it also depends on what, what the body of work is about. Yeah, I've been crafting this time with, with, with the auction in mind and thinking it's about like a hundred edition piece. Um, yeah. and, I, and I think that kind of good for the algorithm too. So hopefully it's a, it, it goes both ways. But, um, yeah. yeah. Yeah, and 100 editions is, yeah, somewhat still not, you know, super big, I would say. No, no. no. And that's kind of in, in it's a, bit, a little bit less than I normally do, but in line, I guess, with what, some of my other projects. So, um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. It's an experiment. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so I guess one other question, if it's okay, Nicole, I know it's maybe running over time a little bit. 
Um, obviously, we'd love to be able to help with future um, cohorts. Um, and, you know, to that end, we'll invite our mates into the um, to Arium and so on. Um, but also, just wondering, um, do you have any uh, concept of whether you might do a VCA IRL exhibition at something like Art Basel Miami or NFT London or NFT New York, um, you know, that we can help with, all of us that have been in the cohorts? Yeah, so usually all of the exhibitions that we do and we curate uh, as VCA, we always have like around, I would say like 20 to 40 percent of the artists that are part of the residency. Even if it's not like branded as a residency like uh, exhibition, we always invite different artists, also depending on the theme and the kind of the curatorial framework of the exhibition that we're doing. Uh, we invite uh, different artists to, to participate. Actually, a few artists have here, uh, Cross Lucid, Evelyn, have been part of uh, our exhibitions in the past. Um, so that's that happens already uh, organically. Um, we don't have anything planned for NFT London, actually, uh, so far. Um, but what we uh, what we are actually planning for the residency specifically is we're in talks with a few uh, galleries here in London uh, to maybe do a showcase of the residency uh, specifically uh, at a at a location uh, here in London. So it's uh, to be uh, confirmed, and yeah, we'll keep you posted uh, about that. That's a great idea. I know there's a couple of um, galleries. Um, like the Haywood and so on, that are getting much more into NFTs. So I think that's wonderful. Bravo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Let's see. Hopefully. Cool. Okay. So if there is nothing else, um, I will let you guys go on with your day or with your evenings. And um, feel free to DM me with anything. We will be sending out both an email specifically with uh, also like a link to the drive that you need to upload your work in and, you know, all, all the information that we kind of uh, briefly discussed now. And then we'll also be sending minting instructions, which will come from Phil uh, around next week, sometime next week, for sure. And yeah, anything else, just uh, feel free to ping me or ping Yinga if you do want to get into the working group of the uh, of the uh, ARM spaces. Again, let us know so that uh, we can add you to, well, we don't need to add you actually, it's just a thread on uh, the six cohort uh, called 6C ARM spaces team. Uh, so if you are, if you want to be involved, just yeah, let us know. Cool. Thank you so much. Thank you. And have a lovely rest of your day and evenings. And we'll, uh, we'll speak soon. Yeah, thank you very much. It's very exciting. Thank you very much. Yeah.